So Bitcoin is sitting at 43,720, as you can see right now. And it is um, moving sideways, as I had mentioned to you, that um, there would be a bit of, you know, a small 500% pump and then a 500 or $1,000 drop. So it went to $44,000 and then it started correcting back. But the market overall is... Um, it is in turmoil, a turmoil in a sense that um, I think the whole market, uh, the big investors, at least they realize they need to wait for the 12th. And um, that event is going to have an impact, or at least they are expecting that there is going to be an impact. The only people who know about it uh, is the Fed itself, that what they are going to come out and announce. Of course, if you look at the probability, uh, I have already shared that in my Telegram. So this was, uh, this was a chart that I shared yesterday in my Telegram. And the probability of rate no change is 97%. So everyone in the market, um, big shots, they all are saying that um, this is the community, by the way, if you are wondering what it's called. The link is in my bio as well. All these people, they are expecting that um, there will be no change. And no change is not a good news. It is a bad news uh, because the only good news is reduction. But if there is no change or there is an increase, that indicates that there is something wrong. Because from one end, the government is saying everything is okay. I'm talking about US government. From the other end, um, there is no stopping to the raise, uh, or, um, increase in the rates. So it's two different stories and that is what um, is affecting investors' decision. So Bitcoin investors are looking at it in the same way. And our story has and narrative has not changed. The max that I have for Bitcoin is $46,000 and the support that I have for Bitcoin, the psychological support, the first support is $40,000. And then of course the real support is at $35,200.